I am Nitesh Prasad from LabView and Multisim. In this video, I will teach you how can you create this kind of 3D blocks using LabView. Now here I am going to increase the X axis size and now you can see the size has been increased. So I will show you how can uh, you create this kind of the 3D blocks. So let's start the programming. First of all, open a new window, then press Ctrl T. After that, to create a 3D blocks, you have to right click on the block diagram and then you have to come on this graph, graphics and sound palette. In this graphics and sound palette, here you will get 3D picture control. Open this one and pin in. Now in this 3D picture control palette, you will get geometry, object and helper. We need only these three things. So first, I will show you how can you create uh, a square. So for that, first of all, you have to come and you have to take a create box, create box. Right click, open the label. Now in this create box, here I am going to press Ctrl H. And when I will click, so you will see, it is uh, it's asking length for X axis, length for Y and length for Z axis. There is one more beautiful thing is there, and that one is color. In the top of that, there is a color. So first here, I am going to create control for length, Create control for length of Y. Create control the length of Z. Sorry. Now, here I am going to convert it, replace it here. Let's replace using the horizontal slider bar. Horizontal slider bar. Right click. A replace with the horizontal slider bar x axis and z axis below. Now x axis, y axis, and z axis are here. Now you can see. Okay, after that, I need a color. I need a color box to create my uh, object. So for that, if you will right click, if here you, if you will right click and create control, so you will get red, green, blue, and alpha. A red, green, blue, and alpha. So it will not work for you. Okay. So for that, we will use helper. We will use, we will take the help of helper. So for that, come here. You can right click on the block diagram, come to the graphics and sound, come into the 3D picture control, then come into the helper. In this helper, this color change option is available. Take the helper and place here. Connect with this one. Press Ctrl B to remove your broken wire and right click, open the label. Now, create constant. Here I am going to select, okay, create constant. Now, okay, alpha, create constant again. I don't know, okay. So for alpha, I am taking create control and I will change the alpha value for right click, create, or replace vertical. It will be my alpha value. Alpha value will control our color. So it will start from the one, and end on the sorry it will start from the zero and at the end the value will come on the one okay zero and one now let's come here now we need to come here come into the object and take a create object and place here make a connection like this for the error now i need to enable 
a function who can draw my object so for that you have to right click and you have to come into the application control and there you will get the invoke node place the invoke node and make a connection like this right then come into the method okay you will not get a proper method so break it now there is one mistake so you have to again you have to take it or right click come here take invoke mode and make connection with this draw okay draw make a connection like this now make a con now come into the method click on the set drivable now i am going to connect the drivable with this one open the label its invoke node now there is name i am going to keep it empty right now later i will show you how uh, it will uh, affect our program then we need a platform we need a function who can uh, draw my image as per my given inputs okay so for that a right click and come into the draw this set drawing style take this set drawing style come here and make connection like this create open the label size i am going to keep the size okay uh, here i am going to keep the size zero sorry zero now mode create control now you can see here the one mode now there is one more set create control okay front face mode i think my all parameters has been set here so i can press control a and control u now you can see here the complete function will look like this here now i need here i need one indicator who can display my image so for that indicator you have to right click and you have to come into the modern style in this modern style inside the graph you will get the 3d pictures take the 3d picture and place here and connect the 3d pictures here right and run now you can see here i am now you can see here i am not getting any image so for that i am going to change the color so my color is white and run and now you can see my okay i am getting so here i am going to increase the size of x axis okay stop now you can see the i am going to increase the size so size will be always start from the 1 size will be not 0 for any axis stop run run length you can increase for x axis for z axis sorry y axis and z axis also so now you can see here z axis and z axis is work okay z axis is increasing from the both side x and y okay now you can see z axis when you will increase the size of z axis so you will see it's uh, increasing the size from x and y both y axis is increasing like this and x axis is increasing like this so now you can see here we are not able to see the proper our 3d so for that we need to change something before that here i am going to change the points okay now you can see the fence now you can see the proper fence properly okay polygon here i am going to change one thing and the right click come into the 3d pictures right click okay auto projection this one select 
right click come into control and spherical run the program now you can see here now i can increase the size of x axis z axis and y axis easily here i am going to uh, increase the size of my 3d pictures Okay, so more is the point. Okay, we are not getting anything. Let's see. Now you can see it is your 3D pictures. Okay, here I am going to stop the program about the program and come into the block diagram again. I am going to delete this front face mode, control B. And here I am going to click the face cooling, create control, open the label, everything set, press control A, control U. Now come into the front panel, run. Here I am going to set it like the polygon, okay, from the back front. Now you can see. Okay. Here, if I will click it from the bottom, so both, so you will not get. If I will click it the back, so we will get only back faces. On the next video, I will explain how the alpha will affect the color. In the next video, I will show you how the alpha will affect this color. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video.